7 Millennium Development Goals is to stop maternal death and population growth. This particular MDG, the United Nations says, is least likely to be achieved by the Philippines if the Reproductive Health Bill will not be passed into law. UN Resident Coordinator Hugo Chideño says of the seven MDGs, Philippines needs to enact more measures to avert rising number of mothers' death. The rate of reduction is, is too low, it's too slow. But now what's very worrisome is that it's actually increasing. What that translates to is that we've gone from 11 mothers dying every day to almost 15 mothers dying every day, mainly dying from causes that could be prevented. Ms. Daniels insists that religion should not hinder the country's development and that people should be aware of the benefits of the Reproductive Health Bill and its power to address social issues such as education, poverty, and access to government services. The bill in its current form would also have significant impact in other areas. Um, it will certainly reduce, contribute to reducing teenage pregnancies. It will promote breastfeeding. It will um, help to reduce sexually transmitted um, infections. Um, certainly once you prevent deaths of mothers, that's a significant contribution to reducing the deaths of um, infants. Um, it will contribute to um, comprehensive sexuality education in, in, in schools. Now economically strong, UN says it is high time for the Philippine government to make remarkable reforms as the Philippines lag behind MDGs along with Cambodia, Myanmar, and Laos. It will certainly help reduce abortions. It will certainly help prevent um, mothers dying. It will certainly pre uh, prevent infants from dying. It will certainly um, um, help to keep girls in school. So these are all things that are equally important to the church. This is man favors President Aquino's pronouncements in his last SONA. PCCI Chairman Emeritus Francis Chu says the business sector is all for responsible parenthood and informed choice. By and large, uh, a limited family member in each family would always be easier in terms of education, in terms of pocket money, in terms of how do you provide a better livelihood or a better environment for your child to grow. You allowed the government efforts in addressing other MDGs, specifically in areas of gender equality, environmental sustainability, and addressing tuberculosis. For People's Television, George Bandora. Major reforms are being put in place by the government to ensure a more effective and efficient spending of government resources. This was bared by Budget Secretary Florencio.